I'm just going until she actually damn talking. Will you call me back? And he was trying to see if they would give me 30 days. I'm good. So he was trying to see if my landlord then would give me 30 days um, before I had to move out. And y'all, I was sleeping in my car before I stayed with my mama. I'm not staying with my mama. That's not happening. Y'all got to watch the last live and y'all will understand why I would not stay with my mom. I'm not. I'm okay. Not doing that. Let's go back to the last live, well. yo. We're going to watch the last live to figure out why she won't stay with her mama. That one was titled, Really? So this one is Married and Homeless with Seven Kids. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go up some because I don't got time for her just sitting here looking at the damn screen. Bro, y'all, it's so much going on right now. Is it really? It's so much going on right now. Okay. Tell us. Like, Tell us about crazy. it, girl. It's crazy. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and get started because I ain't, man, I'm not about to say and wait for a whole lot of people to come in. Okay. I'll post this after I'm finished. We waiting? Shit. So... Everybody who's been following me for a long time know that I've been going through having to go to court with my lawyer, I mean, with my landlord mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. So, man, I'm stressing. I'm stressing. So I've been paying rent to... So I've been paying rent to the courts instead of to the landlord. Are you talking about Sky or Nika? I've been in contact with Steve Wokos about this dog and how trifling she is with these kids. He said September slash October he's going to set something up. I can't effing wait. I've sent videos to him. Um, on which one? Stank Nika or Stank Sky? I'm gonna push play and I'm I'm gonna come back to the chat to see. So the landlord is saying that they haven't been getting payments from the courts, which I look at my account and it's showing that they got my rent up to like 6,000 saying that I owe like 6,000 some dollars, but I have the receipts that I've been paying it to the courts. To the court. so I, go, I, I have on my phone where I can see what comes in my mailbox. So it's a letter in my mailbox, just has my name on it. Don't have nothing else on it. Go to my mailbox yesterday and I got an eviction notice. But I have been paying my rent. I have the receipts. The way that apartment looked, I would have evicted you anyway. Paying the rent or not, says you have to go. You are a hazard to the rest of the community, the rest of the apartment complex. Your apartment is a fire hazard and it's a health hazard. You got to go. Lease violation. You have not kept this place clean. You haven't kept the utilities on. You haven't kept the water on. You are terminated. Goodbye. All in that order. Bye. And then all them roaches, they can't rent that unit out for months. Girl, bye. But the landlord wants me out so bad that they're not caring about none of that. <laughs> they're not caring about any of that. Any of that. Yeah, and my rent went up. Please too. I've been trying to get in touch with my lawyer <laughs> to tell them that my rent up went up for this month. Girl. But the courts are saying that I'm only supposed to pay what they have. So then Section 8 pays what they pay, and I'm supposed to pay the rest. But if the lawyer does not put in my amount, it's considered short. So now I have, I got the letter yesterday. It said seven days. I got the letter yesterday. I have until the 29th to move me and my kids and all of our stuff out of my apartment. And when you have Section 8, you can't get evictions. So then I'm without Section 8. Mind you, I have taken letters to my... I mean, did you even really appreciate the Section 8 assistance that you were blessed to receive anyway? You have multiple men through and through them little raggedy, dirty houses. 
raggedy, dirty apartments, multiple men up in there, not keeping them clean. Did you really appreciate the assistance that you were blessed with? For real, for real? I'm just asking you a question, Sky. I'm not saying you don't deserve it. I'm just asking, do you think you deserved it? Did you really show appreciation to the Section 8 apartment that you had? Did you keep it clean? Did you keep it together? Did you keep the utilities on? Did you keep random men out? That's your answer right there. My Section 8 worker letting her know from doctors stating that we didn't need to be in this apartment. Um, my lawyer before this one also gave a letter that I needed to be out of the apartment, um, but I couldn't, I couldn't pay, I couldn't pay directly to the landlord and, until I went to court with them, which that court date has not even been set yet. So I'm still, still supposed to go to court with these people, but the court date hasn't even been set yet. Okay. Okay. I'm like, okay, fine. I just, and then I just had to let go. And then you're saying that you got uh, the, uh, letters from the doctor and the lawyer and everybody that y'all need to be out the apartment. But is your rent paid? I'm assuming that you want them to transfer you to a new apartment because you've completely destroyed that one. So you fraudulently went and got some lying document from the doctor saying that y'all need to go for whatever reason. It might be roach poop, getting in the air and getting in your kid's lungs. It's no telling. But you want the landlord to move you to a new apartment is what you want, but you owe them rent. So it's not going to happen. You can't expect them to transfer you and you owe a past due balance. This is common sense, but you need to just get out. You need to get out. Take your raggedy letter from your raggedy doctor and your raggedy lawyer and get out. You are evicted. We, we done with you. Go find a place that don't make your kids sick. That's what I would have told her. Shit, go, go. Girl, go to a different apartment complex. This whole apartment complex is tainted, okay? Every apartment is going to make your kids sick, so you just don't need to stay here. Go of uh, my McDonald's job because I no longer had somebody to watch my kids. Where your man at? Whole mess with that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so but you constantly got a man, and you had a man up in there helping you make that nasty bed. Y'all always have unemployed men. So, and I don't really mean to do that and throw you into the group, but this is the truth. Y'all always have niggas that's unemployed. So it's no reason they can't watch the kids. Let's really be honest about this. Chrissy had niggas that's unemployed. Olivia, niggas that's unemployed. Jasmine, niggas that's unemployed. Sky, niggas that's unemployed. Sky, take your ass to work. Let these unemployed niggas watch the kids, period. You got them up in the house with your kids anyway. Don't be like that. Oh, I can't trust him. No, bitch. He up in the house with your kids anyway. You sleep. You in the shower. You everything. He in there with your kids anyway. He might as well help. Shit. So, I'm sitting up here trying to get, I have like suitcases and, well, and things things at my mom's house that I'm trying to get. You know, You guys know that I posted a video about uh, my sister and how everybody suitcases full of roaches I, I guess i can we haven't even been to court i have a case against the landlord we haven't even been to court every time i go in to pay they call it a rent bond every time i go in to pay it i'm asking has a court date been set because you know i need to know what I need to do. I need to know, I need to be prepared of, okay, if I have to get out or, you know, or what the situation is. They kept saying a, a court date has not been set. But yet the landlord can go up and go up there and still serve me eviction papers. And then my worker was like, well, how can they serve you eviction papers if y'all have to go to court? Or even if you was to miss one, even if you was to miss, um, even if you was to miss paying July, the month is not even over yet. How can they serve you eviction papers? Obviously they can. Obviously they can. 
Because like I told my landlord when I just talked to her on the phone, like I told her, I said, Section 8 pays you the amount that they paid you for July. That means I owe you a certain amount. But the court has me down for less than that. So it's not, it's not, I don't even know. It's not really the same case because when they took me to court, the judge was like, if you go down and make a payment now down to the uh, clerk of court, then you can go ahead and open a case towards them. So it's separate cases. So here I am. Like I said, I got to be out. Child, that is crazy, girl. So how long have they actually been trying to evict you is the question. Because, and why the hell you ain't got out they shit? That's all we really want to know. Like, what? July 29th at 8.30. I have been making my payments every month. But yet I, I can still be evicted. And the lady and the landlord said to me one time, she was like, they can't make us let you stay there. If that's the case, then why have I been paying rent all this time when I could have been using that money to pay rent somewhere else? Girl. So go pay rent somewhere else. So the landlord knew what she was doing. They knew what they were doing. I don't like people that tear up the property and shit, don't pay the bills, and then act entitled. Like how you gonna tear the place up? You got hella roaches and dog and whatever else you got up in here, and then you not even paying the rent, and you trying to act entitled? Just pack your shit up and get the fuck out. And they knew if they put in this eviction, this eviction notice, I was gonna lose my section eight. So now here I am. I just I went to the courthouse today. I went to the courthouse today. And they talking about there's nothing they can do. I have to get away from here. I have to get away from here. And the only reason why I'm still here is because of my mom. But then now she's making threats that I've, if I even come to her house to get my stuff, that she that she's going to do, do whatever she does. My mom has guns. I don't know what she's going to do. I don't trust her. That's, the courts know I got uh, So you said the only reason you still there is for your mom, but then you just said that you don't trust your mom. Like, can we please figure this out, people? Because, <laughs> um, what? The only reason you ain't moved out of state is because your mom, but then you say that you can't trust your mom and she got guns. Okay. All right. A case pending. My Section 8 worker know I have, have a separate case pending. My lawyer, y'all, I'm on my second lawyer because I guess the first lawyer I had, she had to, um, she got put in a different position. So now I have some man who I've been calling for a month now. Going, it's going on two months now that I have been calling and telling him, like, my rent went up because, you know, I got a second job. My rent went up. I need you to, like, change this. Call, y'all, I just left her house call the police. The police sitting here saying the police are saying that they cannot force her to let me in the house to get my stuff. So she said, okay, well, my dad and my boyfriend can go in and get my deep freezer because I, I have like a big deep freezer that they call it like a deer deep freezer. It's like really huge in her basement. They can go in and get that and that's the only thing that they can come out with. They can't bring anything else that belongs to me out of the house. Mind you, I have a lot of stuff in my mom's basement. Anybody that's been watching to know that I you homeless. Where are you trying to take the stuff anyway? Make that make sense. Where the hell are you going to take the goddamn deer deep freezer? You going to put it in the hotel? Child. Just child. This shit. <laughs> but I have a whole um, storage, a whole shed in oh her backyard gosh. full of stuff. Okay. But I'm to this point, I don't even care no more. I, I, they, so they talking about I have to take my mom to court. Really not trying to do that because of health issues. But when I'm the one who's always been there for you, 
because she doesn't my mom is the type of person she wants you to live the life she wants you to live she wants like my sister child protective services got called on my sister everybody looked at me i think sky is like slow and be lying a little bit because she just said that she can't trust her mom and her mom is crazy and her mom got guns and stuff. But then she said that her mom got health issues. So that's why she won't take her to court. But this is the same mama that you gave your baby to. Remember, she said that she was a surrogate for her mother and she gave her mother the baby. So you gave a baby to a mother that has health issues and obviously got mental health issues. Also, if you scared, she's going to use a gun on you. Oh, I'm y'all. I'm a wee bit confused. It was my mama, and she's called multiple times. She has called child protective services multiple times on my sister. Just like nobody knows that it's a few of my videos. If you go back and look at a few of my videos, I know it's one. It's about years ago. It's a thumbnail with my son and a, a brown skin. Uh, my son is light skin and a brown skin little boy. That's actually my son that I had for my mother. Child. It's been plenty of times my mama couldn't pay her bills. I paid it. Okay. Barely having it, but I paid it. Just recently, her water got cut off. Who you think helped with that? Child. This shit is weird. But my mom feels like if I don't do what she wants me to do, she's just going to, she she knows where, where to get me at. Like, so I'm just like, mom, just let me get my stuff. I'll be out your life. You don't have to worry about me. I'm going through enough right now. And I'm sitting here like, like I have suitcases in her, in her storage, in her basement. Mom, let me get my suitcases. Me and my kids have to be out of my place in about four days. I need to get my suitcase so I can put their clothes in it. Trying to figure out where we're gonna go. Gotta get a um a, um storage unit. Gotta get a U-Haul. And I can't even get my stuff. I can't. Uh, like, who, who? Try and it's like, like, why are you being childish? It's mine. I have the receipts on it. Like all of it. It's mine. I'm not trying to take nothing out of your house. Everybody knows me. Like everybody in my family know me. Everybody know I don't steal. I, for what? For what? My mama know out of all her kids who gonna steal. They tell you you know out of all your kids who gonna do what? What do stealing? It's so crazy. Like, oh. Hey. Yeah, because. And my y'all, my section ain't work. So your mama think you're gonna steal from her girl? It sound like it, there's a lot of people that got some mental issues. I don't know what the hell going on up in this family. This shit is out of control. These the ones you said you contacted Steve on? Because she definitely needed. Because I don't know what the hell going on here. Let me tell you. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I'm explaining to y'all, and y'all tell me if I'm if I'm wrong for this. Like. I've been telling you for months that I needed to be out of this apartment. My, like I said, my my son's doctor said that we needed to be out of this apartment. They've been they was doing shootings and all this stuff around the time. She said that for his anxiety, we needed to be out of the apartment. You still wouldn't move me. Anxiety. Uh, my lawyer is sitting here telling you that you know it's okay for me to move. I need to move, but I can't pay because it's like back. They said I have old back rent cool i can't pay that while we're going to court i'm working a second job i can get the money up to pay it but i'm being told i can't pay it so my, my lawyer is here saying she, she can't pay it because they have to go to court first you can still move her she's going to still pay it afterwards we're going to make sure you still won't move me mm -mm, girl bye. Oh. nobody trust you you really think that they're gonna leave you with your Section 8 voucher, knowing you owe $6,000 and trust you to pay it? If you was gonna pay it, you wouldn't owe them $6,000 now, right? Hmm. 
Honey, honey, I don't mean to sound in, unsympathetic at all, but this shit is sound crazy. Oh my god, like what the hell? Then I'm sitting here. I done broke the window. Lord, I done broke the window in the back of my van. Like it's so much going on. Mothers can definitely be wrong, especially the narcissistic. That my mother is. She is like she does this with everybody. She even does this with my dad. Like if he he's supposed to have been helping somebody move. It was his baby mama. He's supposed to be helping her move. She was gonna pay him to help move. She sits there and was like, Oh, we need to go to the um what is it? That's what they give the SSI check. So so social security or something. I think she out here telling got, her mama business and then wonder why she can't go to her mama's house and she don't want nothing to do with her. <laughs> I, I need to go there instead. I need to go there instead and say, you want to go make money. But you sit here and tell this man every day that he need to go somewhere and make money. But then you turn around and say, when he try to go make money, you turn around and say, no, don't. Because my dad smokes cigarettes. You don't, you don't want to provide to uh, pay for his cigarettes sometimes. You use that to like hold it over his head. So you're like, I'm going to go make money. But then you come up with excuses why he can't do that. Girl. She's saying that people can go in it sounds to me like Sky and her kids would be homeless. Because uh, you up on here talking about your mama business like that and talking about your mama like that, you probably be talking to other people about your mama like that. And if you feel like you can butt in between me and my man's business, then you don't need to come to my house. You doing a wee bit too much. Whatever I got going on between mine is what I got going on between him. Why are you in it? Uh-uh. Hell no. No. Nah. <laughs> Girl, bye. She's saying that they can go in and get my deep freeze, and that's the only thing they can go get mm -mm. out of her basement. That's mine. And I have a lot of stuff down there, but she's saying that that's the only thing that they can go in and get is my deep freeze. But yet, she just called my sister recently and told her she got to come get all her stuff out of her basement. She got to come get all of it. Or it's going to the road. She got to come get all of it. So then if I don't go get my stuff, because you told me I can't go get my stuff, it's going to the road. Mind you, I got some of my kids' stuff down there. But it's going to the road. Y'all have stuff in my storage building. I have a whole storage building outside. Y'all have stuff in my storage building. Now, the reason why some of the stuff is in her basement, because I didn't want it to rain in my storage building on, some, on certain things. Like, you know, I have important stuff. But I can't go when she's not there because my daddy jars are everywhere. So then they lock the doors. My daddy jars are everywhere. My mom used her, her health issue as a, a crutch, a clutch, crutch, whatever you call it. That's just the like, same thing you just tried to do, right? It's the same thing you just tried to do. Say you didn't move because of your mama and her health issues and all of this and you don't take her to court because of her health issues. Like the police officers and the sheriff are telling me to take her to court. And she's like, take me to court, take me to court because she knows when she go to court, her health is what she's going to use. Her health is what she's going to use. She said that I'm the one child that it, she effed up on because I won't live the life she wanted to live. I mean, honestly, the way your life has been going and all the different men and all these random kids and the filthy environment that you have the kids in, maybe you should try listening to her a little bit. Maybe, right? Because I'm just saying. Maybe you should try listening. Maybe. I'm raining like crazy out 
Anyway. You right. Some people don't deserve kids. Like, let me tell y'all something. I, I met one child in my mom's life. That's why she don't want to let me go. I met one child in her life that knows everything. Everything. My mom has adopted multiple kids and she really adopted them for money. Oh, wow. So she got three now and she's taking in. And she won't allow the mom to see them. The agreement was for her to allow the mom. <laughs> what type of ghetto shit is we watching, y'all? Like, what? Seeing that's why the girl said, okay, go ahead and take my kids. Um, they take my kids anyway, but I would like you to take them because you allow me to see them. But but they won't. But she's not allowing allowing her to see the kids. She's calling, talking about they they're gonna allow her to get two thousand dollars per child. That's three kids. This is what she does. My mom working so long because she taking kids. What did, did she buy the baby from you? Because remember, you told her us that you gave her one of your children. That's what you said, right? So are you benefiting from that somehow? Like. Keep keep explaining this to us, okay? Let us know why you would give your conniving, scamming mother a child of yours if you know that she's a scam. Make it make sense. It's, and she get money for it. My, my son is the only one that I gave. I Somebody gave her a baby. They took the baby back. Like a few days after the baby was born, they was able to come take the baby back. I I, I was hurting for her. Yeah, my mom is. Oh, yeah. She convincing. I was hurting for my mom because I'm she laid in that floor and she cried. I said, Mom, I'm gonna go have I'm gonna have a baby for you. I'm gonna get a baby. Okay. All throughout the pregnancy, I ain't wanna do it. I ain't wanna do like like at the end, like I ain't wanna do it. Like I I felt like something wasn't right. Like I felt, you know, you know your like everybody kept telling me, you know how your mama is, you know what it is, like, but how do you get someone a baby? A surrogate, yeah. yeah. I'm a, like I'm, I was a surrogate, you know what I mean? But my my egg was used, my ex husband's uh, sperm was used. I'm a, yeah, I was a surrogate. <laughs> what the but hell? Now at the hospital when the baby came out, social worker came in and said, "You do not have to, you do not have to give the baby to your mom." Why are you doing it? Are you being manipulated? They're like, you know, they were trying to talk me out of it. She got upset. She left the cross. No, I, I'm okay. So, if you just had this baby for your mama, why is a, a social worker and caseworker involved at all? But I'm trying to figure out because if I was going to, which I wouldn't, <laughs> the world, I have no more babies. But if I was going to have a baby for my mother, there would be no reason for a caseworker, a social worker, or any other worker to be involved. I'm I'm literally going to have this baby. I'm going to leave the hospital with this baby and my mother, and she's going to raise her child. We have no need for a caseworker or any any of that. It's what? Unless like what did, what did you I don't understand. You already told us your mama just want the kids to get paid for them. See, she bought, she got upset. She's going to the bathroom and left the hospital. And me, what is wrong with me? I did not want her to hurt. I did not want her to be upset with me. So I let the baby go with her when we left the hospital. And... A few days after that, she got upset with me about something. I wasn't allowed to see the baby for months. To this day, that boy loves me. He does not know that I'm really his mother. He loves me. I try my hardest not to put this out to let nobody know. My family knows. Everybody in my family knows. Like, Child, this is some creepy stuff. For real. You know, everybody knows, you know, that situation. This is creepy. But 
I try not to put it out there like that. But it's like, I feel like even when you mad at me, you know, I have other kids. You claim you love. And I'm sitting here going through something. I got to figure out where me and my kids are about to go because I had to let my... I had to let my second job go because I didn't have nobody to watch my kids. And my first job, my clients work with me when it comes to working. Like I could take my kids with me, but I was working at McDonald's on my second job and I didn't have nobody to watch my kids. So I had to let it go. And it's like, why? Why? Nobody Y'all, I don't ever mean to sound unsympathetic or anything, but these women lay up with random men. You have men in your videos making the bed with you. You got men in your videos doing grocery hauls and putting up grocery and this and that. There's no reason for you to be up on here crying so much. You had to let go of your second job because you didn't have nobody to watch your kids. Even if that man has a job, your second job needs to be when he's off. If he's living up in your house, then he needs to be contributing to the household. Everybody got to work together. Her house is nasty, disgusting, just trifling. Them kids are filthy. They behave filthy. They just put shit everywhere. It is nasty. I cannot feel any sympathy for her because her life is how she wanted her life to be. No matter how mad you are at me, and I'm telling her, Ma, this ain't got nothing to do with me. This ain't nothing got nothing to do with you. This is about my kids. And you still. I'm, I'm like, Ma, I'm not calling you for no money. Like, I'm going to figure that part out. If we got to go stay in a hotel till I find a place, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll do that. But I'm like, dude, I'm asking you for myself that I need to help move this stuff out. And it's like, why? Everybody can bash me as much as they want. But one thing about me is I try to live right. I try my hardest to live right. I try my hardest to do right by people. And it's no matter what. I just can't see it. Honestly, I really can't. Because you continuously up under a man. Up under a man, up under a man. Breaking up with a man. Now it's another man. A man, a man, a man. Pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Where are you trying to live right? No matter what. Now I'm sitting here about to be homeless with my kids. Trying to figure out where to get my babies. I don't care nothing about me. And my mom was like, nah, I don't care. I don't, I don't, oh my God. My mom don't care. My section eight worker don't care. My lawyer don't care. Like, Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Every time I try to heal from my mama, every time I try to heal from her, she comes back. Every time she comes back. And like I said, I told her, I just want my stuff. Let me go. Let me go. Like, oh my God. I ain't never had to do with this. I ain't never been homeless. I've always made sure me and my kids had. And even when I'm doing it right now, doing right, still, still, still. I did just get married. I just got married. But my problems was there before my before he came. So no, I don't have to figure it out on my own. But these problems was there before you just got married. You have a husband, my bad, not a random man, a husband, a has been, a half been, half, as in not a whole, okay? <laughs> being. And you had to let go of your second job. 
Because of what? Because of what? Because you didn't marry the whole man. Because of what? Huh? Okay. Because I thought so. Four. These people was there before. And it's crazy. All right, y'all. We are five minutes late for our, our live. Um, <laughs> Let's turn the screen share off, you guys. We will continue watching this video over on Queen B Reacts. I have dropped the link for you guys in the comments section below. Check out the comments in the live chat. You will see the link. It is right there. It's highlighted. It is everywhere, you guys. Meet me over on that channel. The live is already scheduled. We're going right there. We're going to finish this video, and then we're going to react to my jazzy life, okay? Y'all make sure y'all smack that likeity like button on the way out. I will talk to y'all in the next YouTube video. Bye, y'all.